What's up guys? So last time I shared to you the finite castle command creation. And this time, I will be sharing you this infinity castle command creation. So I hope you will like it. This whole structure was made by Kubidev. You can check his map on Planet Minecraft website. I will also leave the link of this map on the video description. Anyway, about the finite castle that I showed you before. That was made by Edison and PI. Here are his social media. Feel free to check them out. You can also check that on the video description. I'm just the one who does the command stuff. So anyway, I will be showing you how you can install this infinity castle on any of your world and make it fully functional. But first, let me tell you what and how to activate the infinity castle and the skills that you will get once you are within it. Oh by the way, it took a total of 16 structure blocks just to save this infinity castle structure and so that I can share the structure falls to you. And since this structure is huge, we need to set a ticking area to make sure that every corner of this structure is ticking. And I was surprised that it took me for ticking area commands just to make that happen. Anyway, this command creation might seems overpowered. And I think it's kind of boring if everyone dragged into the infinity castle can't get out alive. So, I made it less overpowered by giving your opponents a chance to escape. And also, I just realized that this command creation is good for hide and seek. Let me know what you think after watching this video. So let's get into it. So first, in order for you to drag your opponents to your infinity castle, you just need to drop the infinity castle key, or should I say I'm in a trial key. Once you drop that, all entities, including the user within your 30 radius will be transported inside your infinity castle. All entities that has been transported will be randomly teleported to any of the 64 chambers inside. And for players, their game mode will be set to adventure mode once they're inside the infinity castle. But like I said earlier, just because the user was able to drag you inside the infinity castle, doesn't mean you can't escape anymore. Since the infinity castle is huge, and the user doesn't really have an ability to locate you. You can just hide until the time runs out. Speaking of time, once you get dragged into the infinity castle, the user will only have a chance to find you within two minutes. When the time runs out, all entities that has been dragged inside the infinity castle will be returned to the original place. However, as for the user, when the time runs out, the user will be teleported 50 to 80 blocks away from the original place, giving the opponents a chance to get away, to avoid being dragged again to the infinity castle. And of course that's not the only way to get out alive from the infinity castle. You can also escape after eliminating the user and the user respawn. But I don't think this one is the best option you have, since the user is dominant inside the infinity castle. There are more ways to escape from the infinity castle, but it's up to you to find that out. You can also get out if the user decides to disable the infinity castle. For the user, you can disable the infinity castle by simply crouching while holding the specific item. By the way, all items needed for this infinity castle will be included in the structure file. And I have all of them renamed, so I don't think you will be confused. Now move on to the first skill that the user have, to activate the suffocating space, you just need to hold this specific smithing template, then sneak. It will then send an invisible projectile that will imprison any entities that got hit by it. The imprisonment will last for 5 seconds, and they will take damage within that duration. You can spam the skill if you want to extend the duration. Now for the second skill, which is called Shift. You can activate it the same way as all of the other skills, by holding the specific item, then crouch. Activating this skill will teleport the entities in front of you to a random location inside the infinity castle. 
This skill is good if you are overwhelmed with your opponents. You can send some enemies away, so that you can focus on eliminating a few numbers of opponents. Now for the third skill, it is called Phase. It is actually the same as the one in the Finite Castle video. So by holding the specific item, then crouch, you will be set to spectator mode, which will make you invulnerable for 3 seconds. And of course players, will not gonna be able to see you while on this state. And this skill is your best way to roam inside the Infinity Castle. Now for the fourth skill, which is called Eject. When you activate this skill, it will send entities far away from the Infinity Castle. So basically, it will eject the entities from the Infinity Castle. So if you want someone to be removed from your Infinity Castle, then all you need to do is cast it on them. And for players, when the user used it on players, they will be sent to a random location that is far in high place. Which if the player is not ready, the fall damage will take their life. And for the fifth skill, which as I already mentioned earlier, this skill will deactivate your infinity castle. Alright, now that we're done with the skills of this command creation, let me show you now how you can install it in your Minecraft world. Since this is a very special structure file, that's why I need to show you step by step on how to install it properly. So let's go. So just like my other structure file, once you download the file from my Discord server, you need to activate it in Behavior Pack. Oh by the way, I would recommend you to test it first on a new world. Here. Now load your world. After loading, find a place on where you want to place the Infinity Castle. I would recommend you to find an open space. A big body of water is also a great place, but still, it's up to you. Now if you think you found a suitable location to load the infinity castle, you just need to put one structure block on the ground. Load the infinity underscore castle. Also, I would recommend that you load the first structure, 55 to 60 blocks above the ground. But always be mindful on the max height of the overworld. Now click load. Oh, it was supposed to be on this side. Anyway, it could also work. So let's just proceed. Once the structure is loaded, you just need to find the other structure blocks on the bottom corner of the structure. You should be able to find 15 structure blocks to load the infinity castle completely. Just click load on all of those structure blocks that you will find. Make sure that you press the load once only every structure block. This might take a while since every parts of this structure is huge. So let me fast forward it. Let's say you already found the 15 structure blocks and loaded all of them. Once done, go find for command blocks located on the bottom side of the structure. Those are the ticking area commands, and you need to activate all of those.
Now after that, you can now load the command blocks for the Infinity Castle. You can load them near the Infinity Castle. The structure name for the command blocks is infinity underscore castle underscore com. There it is. Just flick the lever, then take the items in the chest. Now it's done. You can now invite your friends to destroy them. Woo! So before we end this video, special shout out for Kaldine. Your support is such a huge help for me. And I also hope that everyone watched this video was able to enjoy this command creation. So yeah. Bye.